The Russian aviation sector is actively pursuing import substitution to develop its own technologies and materials for civil aircraft production. This nationwide effort involves businesses from all corners of the country. A key player in this strategy is joint stock company NPK Himprom Engineering, a part of Rosatom, which leads the Umatex Group. Umatex, under the leadership of NPK Himprom Engineering, is a major contributor to this initiative, producing strong, lightweight carbon fibers and fabrics through research and product development. Since 2023, the company has supplied prepreg for the MS-21 and SJ-100 aircraft. According to Rosatom, Umatex has begun commercial manufacturing ultra-high-strength carbon fiber for the MS-21's tail plumage. The aerocomposite plant in Kazan uses autoclave technology to create the plumage, wing mechanization, and composite elements of the nose and tail portions of the MS-21 wing from prepregs. Aerocomposite's Ulyanovsk factory uses vacuum infusion to create wing beams and centroplanes. Romashin Research and Production Enterprise Technologia a silicate glazing manufacturer situated in Obninsk has increased its production capacity. Modernizing the equipment will allow it to meet the demand for MS-21 and SJ-100 items. The company's technicians modified the existing equipment to create an electrically heated layer on the glass surface. As a result, the glass of the airplane maintains its optical qualities at low temperatures. Furthermore, Modernizing allowed for a more than 50% reduction in coating application time. Irkutsk Aviation Plant is expanding its personnel. It is intended to raise the number of staff to 15,000 by 2028. Now the factory employs around 12,600 people. The manufacture of MS-21 is one of the factors driving the expansion. Irkutsk requires additional engineers, technicians, and production people. Irkutsk is also modernizing its production, with the machine park at the onboard electrical network assembly plant being upgraded. In particular, two new laser B systems for laser marking parts have been purchased to replace copying and milling machines. Laser machines make it easier to designate electrical connectors that Irkutsk receives from suppliers. The new software-controlled complexes will automate labeling, saving time and increasing accuracy. At the same time, the facility stated that Irkutsk does not want to totally forsake mechanical engraving because not all materials can be laser processed. On July 19th, at the Journey to Science, Irkutsk press tour, Alexander Bukkin, the first deputy chief designer of MS-21, informed media representatives that the MS-21 aircraft is built using digital technology. Designers and production workers share a single database of design data accessible via high-speed, secure communication channels, he said. Alexander Bukkin explained that MS-21 design documentation is not traditional drawings, but rather an electronic mock-up comprising all of the required information to ensure production preparation and assembly unit manufacturing at the factory. The logistics center controls all acquired components utilized on the MS-21, ensuring their serviceability and quality. Also, on the center's grounds, he noted that United Engine Corporation specialists complete the final assembly of the PD-14 engine and install it in the nacelle. On the sidelines of the Inoprom International Exposition in Ekaterinburg, Anton Alikhanov, the Russian Federation's Minister of Industry and Trade, informed journalists about current discussions to revise Aeroflot's contract for the supply of two 214 and SJ-100 aircraft. The ministry believes it is prudent to revise the contract because the MS-21 aircraft will likely overlap the superjet's capabilities and meet the airline's requirements. Aeroflot CEO Sergei Alexandrovsky stated in June that the corporation intends to cancel an earlier arrangement with United Aircraft Corporation to purchase 42 214 and 89 SJ-100 aircraft in favor of MS-21s. The company had already signed a framework contract for 339 Russian aircraft, with a formal contract for 52 planes. Irkuts continues to work on MS-21 import substitution. Earlier, it was claimed that tail number 73055 is currently being prepped for the resumption of flying tests. Anatoly Gaidansky, first deputy general director of PJSC Yakovlev, stated at a meeting of the Steering Committee for External Cooperation on the MS-21 project in April this year, that the first flight of the 73055 in partially import-substituted form 
should take place by the end of June and in fully import substituted form, the 73057, in November-December of this year. However, while the 73055 aircraft is on the ground, preparation and testing of import substituted systems continue. The first installation of import substituted systems is now ongoing, debugging these systems during live testing. That is, the process is not easy or quick. Next, we'll have one more prototype aircraft to complete by the end of the year. And the aim of these two aircraft this year is to take to the skies, emphasized Andrei Ufarov, deputy head of Irkutsk's final assembly shop. At the same time, MS-21 flight tests continue in Zhukovsky. On July 2nd, the MS-21 tail number 7356 flew from Zhukovsky to Samara and back. The flight took place at an altitude of above 10,500 meters without landing in Samara. The updated software for the onboard radar equipment was tested while flying along civilian routes. According to FlightRadar24.com data, six flights totaling more than 18 hours were completed in July. Also in July, prototype aircraft 7351 and 7354 flew near Moscow. It was announced that 73054 will be involved in flight testing of onboard computer system elements and individual samples of domestically built technology. Now, do you think Russia will be able to localize the entire plane? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content.